In October of 2007, the house was empty. The tenant had moved out. We drove up to it. She says, there's somebody standing in that window. I said, no, that's impossible. The scene was, was strange, more like a staged incident. There was a body in the room and two notebooks. And she had been writing a journal. To whomever finds my body, please bury me in the New Durham Town Cemetery. And that's where the story of Linda Bishop ended. She was enormously independent. People were attracted to her. She liked to be involved with people. She was a wonderful mother. She loved Katie to death. It's such an odd thing that no one knew there was this person in that house. It just doesn't make sense to be barely existing. I thought, okay, this is a suicide. But the more I learned about her, I realized this isn't a suicide at all. She had quit her job, and we packed stuff up and hit the road. She met this guy, Steve, when she was waitressing. She was madly in love with him. She kept talking about the Chinese mafia being after her. She wrote us several letters, deep, dark, delusional. I didn't want that in my house. We don't know if there's foul play involved. I think they were looking for any sort of lead. She was, in a sense, a prisoner in this house. She had her apple orchards in the back. She loved it here. I just counted 270 apples. 22 days at 12 apples a day. That should be enough. There is my mother, and there is Linda Bishop. Linda Bishop's who I hate. She was that close to safety and being assisted. Then why didn't she get help? that last bit of power and freedom, she wasn't gonna get away. Dear God, please save me. I'm trying, but I don't know what to do.